What's going on guys, TTRX6 here, back for another Machine Robo review, and we're just gonna stop calling it Machine Robo, I mean, come on. Uh, my only intention on buying this is because they're kind of like, uh, modernized GoBots, right? And since GoBots are Machine Robo, I mean, you get the idea. If you're gonna complain that I'm calling it GoBots, then you probably might turn the review off now. So, this is Blackbird Robo, because Machine Robo is very, uh, unique on naming their things. Uh, otherwise known as Snoop uh, in GoBots, so yeah, it's an SR71 obviously. Uh, we have it in alt mode here as you can tell, and I mean it's a pretty decent representation of an SR71. A little bit of panel-y here, a little bit of gappiness on it, but overall I think it's pretty good. From the bottom, it's most definitely a folded up robot. Uh, so the bottom is not winning any awards. Now it only has one landing gear uh, in the I guess the nose cone, well, not even, it's like the forward fuselage, I guess, of the plane. Um, yeah, just one. Nothing flips out here, and uh, she comes with accessories here, uh, which just plug into this port and this port right here. And if I can get it in, it should plug into both. And the other one got misplaced on the other side here. So let's get this in and plug it in. Again, a circle and like a slotted one here. And the problem with this is, when you put this on, the front end doesn't actually end up touching the ground anymore. I mean, she's supported just like that, which I guess is fine. Uh, SR-71s don't have any weapons, so... Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It is what it is, right? So let's get Blackbird Robo transformed into its robot mode. Uh, it's overall fairly easy. You just kinda Pull these things back, uh, bring this flap up on its double hinge like this, take this little piece here and it kind of tucks down there, take this piece, swivel it, all, swivel it all the way around on both sides here, and I believe you're supposed to leave these like this, you can rotate them 360 so if you prefer them forward that's fine, do it that way. Uh, but I prefer to have the thruster splinting down. There we go. Take the arms now. Uh, extend this out. And rotate them so the fist is forward. Just like so. And then you can take this head piece. And it's a little tough because this black piece here is actually part of the head. So you kind of want to make sure it clears that. And then this should fold down, uh, which will bring these panels down because you can see where it's supposed to rest in there. So you'll know you have it right when it kind of brings it down. And there we go. We got our Blackbird Robo in its robot mode. And I got to say, like, honestly, uh, where these machine robo toys are concerned, like, this is probably my least favorite one. Uh, it's very simplistic uh, in the way that it's made. And, uh, I don't know. It's okay. There's really nothing bad about it per se it works it's articulated just fine but just it's not all that exciting so i don't know uh the guns here if you want to put them on it's pretty simplistic also you just kind of put the bottom piece into the bottom of the hand here and then just kind of pop the top on so they he slash she depending on which line you're collecting this for uh, ends up looking like that. So Blackbird Robo is on the smaller scale here. Uh, this is that Hasbro Swerve repaint uh, for comparison. It's like a Legends slash like a small scout size thing. So you can see really tiny uh, for the price. So yeah that's really all there is to say about this. I feel like it's so simplistic we really don't need to bring it back to its vehicle mode. Um, if you're in for the line, I mean I think you're in for this. I will say that uh, if you're picking and choosing, really this is not one of the better ones in my opinion. Uh, it's more easily passable if you don't have a draw to the character um, in GoBots or who knows, I have no idea what Blackbird Robo did in Machine Robo. Maybe their, their character is awesome and you just need to have it, then go ahead. But uh, outside of that... I don't know. It's a pretty easy pass in my opinion. Uh, one Real quick before we go, there is like die cast in this stuff back here. And it doesn't really help because the way it sits on the back of the body, um, it really ends up just kind of pulling 
Blackbird Robo backwards a little. Uh, so it's a little difficult to make her stand. So, yeah. I don't know. It's up to you if you really like this guy or not. Uh, to me, it's just not one of my favorites. So this is T2RX6. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And I'll see you next time.